Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fish Tank. My name's Badis Fish 80 and today we're going to be talking about ELO in Minion Masters. Now, before we go any further, can I just take a moment to please ask you to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and give it a like. Now, ELO has been introduced to Minion Masters. Now, there's been a bit of confusion with regards to this because it was slipped in under the radar. Uh, the developers decided not to make any sort of announcement about it. Um, so a lot of people have been confused. Uh, but hopefully this video can uh, help you to understand what is going on. Now, let's find out more about ELO, what it is, and how it's implemented within Minion Masters. Right, so an ELO is a rating system. It's similar to MMR, you may have heard of that, matchmaking rating. It's a method for calculating the relative skills of players. It works in games that are zero-sum games. So there's a games where there's a winner and there's a loser. So, for example, chess or Minion Masters, where effectively the winner is taking points from the loser. Now, an ELO system has been within the game for the last three months, but it's been secretly, behind the scenes, collecting data, not doing anything, just calculating the data for the players. Now, what happened in patch 1.30 is this ELO system was given control of the matchmaking and the points calculation with regards to winning and losing games. Now if you played early season you would have noticed some strange experiences with regards to the matchmaking and the points won and lost which was due to some bugs but they've been ironed out with regards uh, to some hot fixes that, that have been added. So hopefully now the system is working correctly. Now, let's find out a little bit more about it. So one thing that uh, people are a little bit confused about is, is rank ELO? No. There is ELO and rank within the game. So you have an ELO rating and you have a rank. Now, why do you have both of those? Well, the ELO system will in by design give better and fairer matchmaking it will give a better uh, idea of how your ability level is and it will find the most appropriate matches for you so that's the reason for having elo the reason for having rank is it allows for the season resets that we're used to uh, where your elo will continue across seasons whilst the rank resets um, so that's why we have ELO and rank. The rank also allows for more visible progression because ELO is more of a, a static figure. And we'll see why having the ELO and the rank together uh, allows the season resets to be less grindy than they were before. Uh, in a little bit, we'll discuss exactly why that happens. Right, so you may have some questions. We'll see if we can answer them. Each mode each player has a separate ELO. So you have a solo ELO, you have a pre-made ELO, and you have a randoms ELO. Now, for this season, the ELO, your ELO, and your opponent's ELO, they are used for matchmaking. So the system will try to find somebody of a similar ELO for you to play against. So this is previously, it was done on rank. Now it's done on ELO. Now, after each match, there are a points adjustment. The points are given or taken for wins or losses, as you would expect. Now, behind the scenes, your rank points are being adjusted and your ELO points are being adjusted. What you see in the game when you get plus or minus points, they're rank points. So that's what you're seeing uh, in the client after the game. Uh, and the reason that they they want to keep ELO hidden is they feel that it's um, it's much better to see your rank and your rank progressing rather than the ELO because the ELO is quite a static figure and it doesn't really give you quite so much feedback as the rank gives you. So I believe that's why they are choosing to keep it hidden, at least for now. Right. So we've discussed that each mode has an ELO and the ELO is being used for matchmaking. Now the ELO also has an effect on how many points you win or lose after a match. So the 
Rank system will calculate the points based on a win or a loss. And then there will be an ELO adjustment, uh, an ELO multiplier. And the reason there's a multiplier is, so you have a rank and you have an ELO. Now behind the scenes, the system has effectively a table, they call it equivalence table, that says if you're in this ELO, if your ELO is this, you should be in this rank. So what the system's always trying to do is get you your rank and your ELO to agree. So, and the way it does that by it uses this ELO multiplier. So for an example, if your rank is below what your ELO suggests it should be, the system will give you additional points. The multiplier will give you additional points for winning and less points will be taken away for losing because it's help it wants you to rank up it wants your rank to be the same as your elo and again the opposite side of that is if your rank is higher than your elo suggests and this is something we saw at the start of the season after a bug allowed people to get very quickly ranked up far higher than their elo suggested it should be and what those players experienced were was the system was then awarding them far fewer points for winning um, and also taking away far more points for losing Again, trying to equalize the ELO and the rank together. Um, and one of the things that the developers are constantly tweaking are the details of the equivalence table. So which ELO should be in which rank. Now, one thing to note is, as we've mentioned, you have a different ELO for each rank. Sorry, not rank, for each mode. Make sure we don't confuse anyone there. Now, what happens in duos is your personal ELO will be compared against the opponent's average ELO when it comes to calculating the points. Now what that means is that it can certainly affect the outcome whether you're if you're playing with someone of a similar ELO level to you as your teammate or someone with a very different ELO level. Because if you're playing with someone that is far below you you, from a points point of view, will be effectively punished and you'll get less points for a win and lose more for a loss. Whereas your lower ranked teammate will get more points for a win and less loss points for a loss. So hopefully that makes sense. Basically that means the system is will not allow people to be carried up to a higher rank. Right, moving on, as we mentioned, there's an ELO rank equivalence table used, uh, and that's uh, something the system's always trying to do, trying to get your rank and your ELO to agree. Now, a little bit more information here for anyone that's in interested in a bit more information about the ELO system. So, ELO systems have what is called a K factor, and the K factor is effectively how many points you can win or lose by uh, what's the maximum you can win or lose. So, um, the system currently employed by Mini Masters has a high K factor, which means that ELO can uh, fluctuate quite quickly. It can go up and down pretty quickly. Now, when we consider rank instead of ELO, rank has things that affect it, such as win streaks, there's a loss reduction multiplier um, below GM, there's some bot safety nets, etc. Um, and this means that the rank can go up and down again like elo but it's much more likely to go up especially with streaks because of these win streak things and because of these effects on rank the elo gives a much more indicative picture of a, a player's ability because there's no win streaks there's, there's no loss mitigation so the whole point of this elo system is to give better matchmaking and allow you to play against people that are best appropriate for you. And if uh, and then based on that, the ELO system again is then trying to make your rank and your ELO to agree. So hopefully what we're experiencing, and you know, I'm hearing different things from the community, and I'd really like it if you'd let me know in the comments below, let me know what your experience is. This should give you much better matchmaking. Now remember, you might say, oh, I'm getting a gold player. But the rank is irrelevant when it comes to the matchmaking. The matchmaking is done 
um, is done based on the elo. So a player might be gold, but their elo behind the scenes shows that they're a much better player, and therefore you're getting ranked against them. Now, I'm not sure if there's any things that I've missed. Uh, there's quite a lot to go over here, so if you need to go back and watch it, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, the ELO system should give better matchmaking, should give less grind on the reset and allow you to play players of your same level on the reset. So yeah, let me know what your experience is out there. Let me know uh, if you're having a good experience or a bad experience. Give me any information you've got. Uh, we're always interested to make sure, feed this back to the developers to make sure the system is working as they intend. But yeah, hopefully that uh, illustrates exactly what and why ELO is within Minion Masters. And um, I'll see you again soon here in the fish tank. Remember, subscribe and like if you enjoyed this content. My name's Badders Fish, and I'll see you again soon here in the fish tank.